Hey YouTube! This Friday I wanted to try something different, so this week we've got a redesign of the Warriors for Hire from Mighty Magic Swords. Um, and I'll be talking a little bit about like why I did things and why I've made certain changes. Um, because I absolutely love Mighty Magic Swords, I'm like really fond of it. Like it has problems, but it's like such a fun, silly, goofy show that you can't help but just love it. Um, and you can tell that everyone working on it really put so much of their like heart into it. Um, so yeah, I just want to say like I'm not a puppet animator. I'm terrible at Flash. Um, so probably some of these changes would be counterproductive um, to like an actual TV production. And like I'm sure lots of reasons that um, the designs of the characters on the show are the way they are is because it's uh, flash puppets and they've got very limited amount of time and budget to deal with so they've got to keep things simple um, but some of them are just personal um, I don't really like the art style of the show <coughs> I have to admit um, it's nice with bright colors and um, all the cartooniness but like a lot I don't know a lot of the character silhouettes are like exactly the same um, and like a lot of the limbs I don't really like the noodly limbs and you can really like see where they join on um, so like um, if you haven't watched this show you probably won't really know what's going on but it's always fun to hear someone talking trash about cartoons right um, but especially like characters um, like you can see it in the main two sometimes uh, especially with the girl character Vamba her legs you can really tell where they're like stuck to her body uh, there's like a, a line um, and uh, Novil another one of the characters his legs look really too small for his body um, which is sad because like they were trying like the really cartoony silhouette and he has like a much bigger upper body than a smaller body but like somehow his legs just don't work <laughs> um, so yeah like most of my um, redesigns probably are like some people will be like no you're taking everything away from the character of the show you're just making it look more anime and well I like anime <laughs> and anime inspired cartoons like Ben 10 um, and cartoony anime like uh, Panty and Stocking which is like if you haven't heard of it like go look it up it's animated by Gainax um, and like the sense of humor is awful and it's really crude but it is so stylish <laughs> um, and I you just like the characters even though they're all awful they're just really appealing you you know what they want they are going to get it and that you can you can empathize empathize with them more than some other um characters and especially a lot of anime characters they don't have much of a motivation sometimes um that that particular like the characters in mighty magic swords like there's never a problem with them really um sometimes they are a little hyper and irritating um especially like when they are like why don't we have money and it's like oh, i feel that except i know why i don't have money <laughs> um and like it's irritating when they get to live away from home by themselves and they still act like 12 year olds <laughs> um but then it's fantasy isn't it it wouldn't be it wouldn't be such a fun cartoon if they actually acted like grown-ups um, or if they were kids and their parents were around so you know that's how it goes um, but yeah so you'll have been able to see me doing my sketch and planning out everything starting on the line art like I like the fact that um, Magic Swords has the um, very whipped line art like it looks really nice um, and especially because they're uh, puppets um, like the uh, varied width line art on Steven Universe like 
slightly gives me anxiety as a uh, frame by frame animator looking at that and thinking how much inking has gone into each and every shot um, but like I like the very line where it's really it makes everything feel more lively and um, and like it really suits the like bounciness of the show um, and like some uh, some shows really benefit from it um, like the newest Jojo, um, obviously because it's uh, all animated on paper by pencil, I think still, um, like varying the line width takes so much extra effort, so all the lines are a uniform pencil width, but that has the effect on that show of making everything look really um, static and like objects. Um, yeah, Mighty Magistals have that problem sometimes too, but not for want of uh, differing line widths. Um, because it's um, because it's puppet animated, um, like a lot of the volumes remain really consistent, and um, like sometimes it looks a bit snappy, um, like when they just snap into a pose or like the walking cycle. You can tell it's reused, but like it's it's, it's splash who got time to animate a new walk cycle when you could be focusing on something that other people will really notice. Um, the, the, my least favourite part of animation in the whole of Mighty Magisword is the choose your Magisword, bring out the Magisword animation. Uh, if you haven't seen it, like, it happens at least once every episode and it's like supposed to be a joke or like like kind of like a transformation sequence I guess um, like they dramatically like pull their sword out from the little bag thingy um, and it's really ugly <laughs> um, like their eyes are really crossed and it's really just a uninteresting piece of animation um, so if you're gonna repeat a piece of animation over and over I think like you need to take some time on it <laughs> Um, like the, like with uh, low budget anime, like uh, Slayers and Sailor Moon and stuff, like when you're going to repeat a, a bit of animation every episode, like the transformation sequence or like Lina's Dragon Slave or Fireball, you need to make it look good. Um, but the uh, repeated animation in Magic Swords, like, if it's playing for a joke, it isn't really funny. Um, <laughs> And if it's just being straight face, like it's not, it's not effective, really. Um, yeah. That being said, like talking about Slayers, if you haven't heard of Slayers, it's an anime which almost definitely inspired the character designs from Magic Swords, which is one of the reasons why I am really fond of Magic Swords is because I can't help but think of Slayers um, which it, it's like a really kind of campy low budget anime from the 80s, 90s I think late 80s, early 90s um, and it's a fantasy and it's also quite like tongue-in-cheek comedy uh, except the Slayers are from a light novel aimed at adults so the characters have a bit more like not depth but they're less hyper um, and especially in Next actually I would say the characters have a lot of depth in Next um, even though like sometimes a lot of the plots are really like oh god <laughs> um, and it's not that it's not the best anime but I love it to pieces you know you know it was my childhood um, and my OTP still, <laughs> Lena and Gowrie. Yeah, having such a, like, when you can see that it's come from Slayers so much, you can't help but compare it. And like, I think Slayers did a lot better with the budget they had. Like, I guess even though the show, the episodes look a lot less fluid and there's a lot more like staticness in a Slayers episode, like, the character models, when they do a funny expression, like, I just think it looks nicer when it's drawing rather than um, a flash puppet. 
<laughs> and like they seem to commit to it more. Like uh, Magiswords, like a lot of the time when they are making a funny expression, they only hold it for like one second because they got to have 300,000 jokes in the rest of the 11 minutes of the episode. Um, so that can be a problem. Um, and I think like you just got to commit to things. If you're making it silly, you got to hold it for a little bit to give people a chance to laugh at it, you know? Um, and I guess Slayers went the other way because they are, they had more time to fill and less, like they had to draw everything. So they probably held things too long sometimes or repeated things too many times. Um, but yeah, this is me trash talking Mighty Magisword. <laughs> Let me, leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about the art style originally of Mighty Magic Swords if you watch it and tell me what you think of the redesign. I'd love to know what you think. Have a nice day. Bye!